Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and today is tutorial number 83. Now in this tutorial we're going to import our day night package into our hack and slash game tutorial. So I'm going to open up Unity and of course you know there's a few ways to do this. You can just right click and import package in your project window. You can also go up to the assets menu and import a package that way but with Unity 3.1 and the asset store they've actually added a new one which is a little quicker so we're going to go ahead and open up the asset store and that'll connect to the asset store and load up and if you click this little button here which I assume is downloaded assets uh, you'll notice here you have all of your packages that you've downloaded from Unity and also all the other ones that came with Unity are basically any package that was in your standard assets folder and if you notice here ones that you've actually downloaded from Unity Asset Store uh, they have an up-to-date and not up-to-date uh, little button here now I haven't actually seen any that needed to be updated but I assume the functionality does work and when the package is updated you'll probably get a button here to click but what we want is our day night cycle so here it is down here and I'm just going to import it this way so we'll just click it it'll go ahead and import for us I'm going to close that window down now and take a look here here's everything that's going to import and you'll notice it's going to import the C Sharp Manager or Messenger extended folder and all the scripts. We don't really need them, but since they're being put in the script folder, it will just overwrite what we already have. So we'll just quickly import. And we'll notice here we also got the uh, lens flares that we we're using for our lights. If we go down to prefabs, we have our game time our sunlit and unlit uh, let's go down to shaders we have our skybox blend and our scripts and there's our C sharp extended and that's pretty much it so let's just start putting it into our scene so I'm going to put prefabs I'm going to go down to game time and just drop that in and we'll take a look at it right now the size is set to zero I'm only gonna have one Sun in our scene and I'm gonna make it an unlit Sun since I already have a directional light that's casting uh, the shadows I want so I'll make an unlit Sun I'll drop it up here you'll notice it has the default flare and if you want to change that you could just import the rest of the lens flares package and change it but I'm just going to leave it for now all the default settings I'm going to go back to to my game timer or game time and I'm going to add this unlit sun to it I'm going to leave all the settings the way they are and I'm also going to have to set up my uh, skybox so I'm going to go into my skyboxes. Originally I just had the night one set. I'm going to take that material, drag it out to be in the skybox material by default. And I'm going to switch its shader over to, uh, what did we call it? It was, a, I believe under render FX skybox blended. There we go. So if we open this up, we start off at night and we want the day ones so I've already got my night ones set up from before so I am gonna to have to put my day ones in so I'll pause the video while I add my skyboxes here and I'm probably also gonna to have to change them to be clamp alright so I've switched all my skyboxes to be or the textures for my skybox to be clamp so I don't get the seams and I've switched my material over or my shader over to the blended and I've added them all. 
I'm going to quickly rename this and I'm just going to call it Matt Skybox. Now under my render settings, so let's come up, go to here. I'm going to change the skybox material like so. And I'm going to look at my main camera because I got a funny feeling I have a skybox set here, which I do. I'm just going to take that off. So let's start it up and see if we get any errors. No errors. And the skybox is blending. Unfortunately, with this camera, I'm not getting any. I can't be see the the flare itself. But the skybox is blending. We're going to work on the camera next. Now I am getting this error here, which isn't really an error. It's more of a warning, and it's just telling me that there's nothing listening for that message, and I can easily fix that. I'm just going to go to my starter town. And since I do have some lights already set up in the scene, I'm just going to highlight them. And we'll go ahead and it was a day night cycle, time lighting. Select the next one. Timed lighting. And the third one. Which I'll switch to timed lighting. We'll start it up. I haven't bothered adjusting the settings of the time lighting. I've just changed, added the script to it. So I'm going to run around the corner here. And there we go. Everything's tied in. Now I'm going to have to adjust my lighting. Uh, yeah, we're really going to have to work on this camera script. I really don't like this one. So we'll do that next. But there we go. We've got our package imported in and everything's working. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.